In terms of maneuver elements, each Panzer Division would have one Panzer Regiment with two or three Panzer Battalions. The Mittlere Panzer Company or Medium Tank Company was the principal maneuver element of the Panzer Battalion. The company overall consisted of a company headquarters, four tank platoons, one maintenance group, one combat train and one baggage train with a total armored fighting vehicle count of 22 Panzer IV tanks. The company headquarters was the tactical command element of the company. It consisted of two Panzer IV tanks and three motorcycles for messengers. The company leader doubled as a tank commander, while the second tank received its own tank commander. By 1942 the company headquarters lagged the explicitly authorized company troop that it had in the earlier period of the war. Each tank had a five-man crew, a commander, driver, gunner, radio operator and hull machine gunner, and loader, who were all personally armed with pistols. Except for the company's spare tank crew that rode with the maintenance group, the driver was typically always authorized as an NCO, a mark of the position's importance. By contrast, the loader was typically always authorized as a junior enlisted due to the low skill, entry-level nature of his job. Additionally, while the radio operator in a company or platoon leader's tank was typically authorized as an NCO, they were typically junior enlisted. The four tank platoons were the close combat element of the company. Each consisted of five tanks, with the platoon leader acting as a tank commander in one tank. Unlike in heavy tank platoons, there was no deputy platoon leader. In the first two platoons, the platoon leader would be an officer. Meanwhile, in the second two platoons, they would be an NCO, as it was German practice generally to use NCOs as platoon leaders. The platoon could be split into two half platoons of two tanks each for bounding movements. One of the tank commander would then act as a half platoon or section commander. The maintenance group provided the company with maintenance services and also contained a spare tank crew as replacements. It was manned mostly by tank mechanics, tank radio mechanics, armorers and drivers for the subunit's numerous trucks, cars and half-track trucks. Typically, the maintenance group would move with the combat element, while the trains, with the exception of medical personnel, fuel, trucks and motorcycle messengers, would travel with the battalion's rear echelon. The combat train carried fuel and field kitchen and other supplies. It was led by a Hauptfeldfebel, analog to the company first sergeant who was in charge of the administrative tasks of the company. Typically, the combat trains were pulled and controlled at the battalion level. The maintenance technical sergeant was responsible for the upkeep of the vehicles and would, along with the appropriate platoon leader, would be responsible for determining whether tanks in the platoons were 
combat effective. The Sanitates Unteroffizier or medical officer would receive their own light cars with drivers so they could travel independently with the combat echelon. A clerk, additional armorers, a supply NCO and medical personnel were also allotted. The big 4.5 ton trucks mainly carried fuel while the 3 ton truck carried the field kitchen with the former typically traveling with the combat echelon. The baggage train provided the company with an additional 3 ton truck for baggage, an account NCO, tailor and driver for the trucks. They typically traveled with the rear echelon of the combat train. The medium tank company would be changed in November of 1944. Major changes in late 1944 included the movements of the trains and maintenance to the battalion level to streamline the supply chain and get rid of redundant personnel, making Panther tanks, Panzer IV tanks, Jagdpanzer IV and probably even Sturmgeschütz force interchangeable at the company level with mixed battalions and providing an option for three tank platoons if five tank platoons were unattainable.